Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and I'm going to talk today about how to use the AntConc word list tool. Now, this is quite an advanced tool with lots of um, features, so I'll try to cover them all here. Okay, first we'll need a corpus, so I'm going to uh, open a corpus that I've been using for several tutorials, which are 12 texts from an English communication textbook. I'm going to open them there. Now, the word list tool. Uh, is just second from the right here and it offers the rank of the word, the frequency of the word, the word itself and if you include a lemma list which I'll show you later it will show those. Now you can search for words here but the easiest thing to do is first is just click start. Now if we start the uh, the word list tool then it just produces a frequency list uh, as you can see here with the being the most frequent word with a frequency of 551. And over the top of the screen you can see the total number of word types is 2516 and the total number of word tokens, the size of the corpus, is 11,341. So of those, 550 are the. Now at the moment the um, display is sorted by frequency but it can also be sorted by word or word end. Uh, so if we sort by word then we get all the words in alphabetical order and uh, you can see that capital letters and small case letters are, are just being ignored in that frequency list right there. Okay, let's put it back to sorting by frequency. Now, if you want to treat all the words as lowercase, you can do that by going to the tool preferences and um, selecting the option in the uh, word list preferences, but because this is a very common option to select, we can just click it here as well. And now if we start and create a new word list, you can see that everything is lowercase. We can also search for words in the word list. So for example, if I search for the, I can start it or I can just click search only and we can find that. We can also use wildcards and phrases and regular expressions as in many other tools. So for example, if I use a wildcard th and star, then I can now search and I can find uh, there are 40 of these um, hits in the word list and I can just go down and find those as I can in many other tools. If we go to the advanced tool uh, search tool, we can see that we um, have the same options here to load a, a search list, but there are, they don't have the option here of searching with context words and horizons, obviously because that has no meaning in a, within a word list. Okay, let's look at some of the uh, preference options that we have here. So let me just first delete the search, just create a, a fresh list as we have here. Now, if we go to tool preferences, and select the word list preference, we can see lots of options here. We can first choose what to display on the main screen. We can also treat all data as lowercase, which we've just selected here. Uh, and if we remove that here, it also is removed in the main window, as you can see. Uh, we can also treat case in the sorting so that uppercase letters appear before lowercase letters. Uh, and we can also use a lemma list. So let me show you how to do, use that. So let's first select use lemma list and we're going to find a lemma list uh, and one's available on my uh, homepage. So if we open and then we navigate to our lemma list, which is here, uh, this is just a list of words uh, with their lemmas. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, it looks like this. So you can see words and their, their various inflections. Okay, so um, I'm going to select that. And now it appears here uh, in the lemma list options. Now I can treat the word list range as lemma list range, but I'll explain that in, in a little bit of time. Okay, so we need to load this. Uh, and when we load it, then it just processes a little bit and it displays it there so you can check that everything is okay. Okay, let's apply that. 
Now, if we start again, what we now find is that um, we have the lemma form on the left and the other forms on the right here. So B has a frequency of 441, and here are the different forms on the right here. Now, sometimes uh, when we produce a word list, we don't want to include some of these very high frequency function words. So one way to um, get rid of them is to go to the tool preferences again and use a stop list. Uh, so let's uh, first use a stop list and add a few words like the or, uh, for example, a, an, of, and to. So a simple uh, set of words that we're going to use as a stop list. Now if we apply these, uh, and hit start, you'll see now that the uh, the high frequency function words that appeared before have now disappeared. And that's the idea of a stop list. Now we can actually do the opposite of a stop list and use just the words below and find out their uh, frequencies. So let's apply that and start again. And we can see now that we just have those uh, words. And of course the other option is to use all words and ignore these words in here completely. And if we do that, then we're back to our original list. It's also possible to uh, um, have words it from a file. So if I open a file and go to a stop list file, which is just some words on different lines, uh, you can see here, and apply that, then again, we can eliminate some of those uh, words. Oh, uh, if I, of course, select the stop list. And then it works OK. So that's basically how to use the word list. Um, be careful that when you're using the collocates tool um, here, it will automatically generate a word list before it can start. Uh, so you may see it suddenly jumping to a word list and going back sometimes. And a word list is also needed when you are creating a keyword list, uh, which I will explain later in a different video. Thank you.